see if a given number is prime or not. First of all, what is prime number? A prime number is a natural number greater than 1 that has no positive divisors other than 1 and itself. Let's see how to check it programmatically. Let's get a number from the user. To check if it's a prime number or not, let's store it inside a variable, integer variable called num. If user enters a value of 7, for example, we need to see if 7 is divisible divided by 2 to 6. So the loop starts from 2 because every number will be divided by 1. So the loop should start from 2 to 1 less than the enter number. If the user enter number is div properly divisible by 2 or any number less than the enter number then we store fact is equal to 0 which means the given number is not prime. If it doesn't get divided then fact is equal to 1 which means it's a prime. So now let's check what's the value stored inside the variable fact. If fact means if fact is equal to 1 percentage d is prime or else it's not prime. It means the control has been exit from this break statement I highlighted just now. Let's compile and execute it. Ten is not prime. Let's see for seven it's a prime. Okay. So see here if if the user enters five hundred, this for loop needs to be executed from 2 to 499 times that's a lot of looping so so let's make it let's optimize it for example divide the enter number by 2 and then iterate through the loop it, if the user enters 500 we shall do 500 by 2 which means 250 the for loop will be then the for loop will be executed only 250 times saving almost saving 250 iterations so it is better than the previous one let's see for the output now if it comes properly or not compile and execute it 10 is not prime again we shall give 7 it is prime so let's see for other bigger numbers 50 is not prime now 70 is also not prime which one is the prime number now 31 is prime so let's see to optimize it further for example we shall apply square root for this function which means 20 po 22 point something but i num is integer so we get only 22 inside it so now the for loop is looped through only 22 times and it should give proper result let's check for it 10 is not prime and obviously 7 is prime now let's see more numbers bigger numbers 31 is prime let's try for bigger numbers 100 is not prime 301 also is not prime I guess 107 or 111 is also not prime 107 is prime okay this logic should work this I guess is the optimum logic however big number you, you give it the for loop only iterates through the square root of the given number of times in this case if user enters 500 this for loop is iterated only 22 times which is very optimum remember to enter the header file math.h practice this program please share this with your friends on facebook like it on youtube 
please visit our website technotip.com and also the forum technotip.com slash message board thanks for watching